Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good afternoon to some people on the East Coast, and I guess uh, good evening to the people in Europe. Uh, today we got uh, Aspen Dungeon on my alt account, and then uh, I'll be running the Flame Shrine on my main. Uh, got uh, Faith Blade as the boss for that, so I'm excited for that because Faith Blade is typically a high damage boss. Uh, usually the high damage bosses are Molassa and Faith Blade. So I am actually really excited about that. Um, so first off, let's go ahead and get the Aspen Dungeon out of the way. I'm gonna go through my gearing real quick and then uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so in Ada, we're going with the HP, HP stone, 2-2 two, two with the crown. We got HP enables uh, with the increase in healing. Uh, Faith Blade, he's got a 3-1 setup with Antlers King, crit crit. Uh, damage enables with uh, Unbending Well and Purify. Uh, same thing with Aspen with his enables and uh, same gear setup but with a dildo and crit crit. Um, Mr. 3K here, he's going with a 2-2 two, two with uh, HP, HP stone, and a torch with HP enables. And then our last hero, we are going to choose Terra with a full warrior anti-priest with a holy damage attack attack. And once again, uh, attack enables. So let's go ahead and our stuff. Uh, why not a heal, heal effect on Ada? Did I not have heal effect on Ada? I have heal effect on Ada. It's right there. Oh, you mean by the stone. Well, this account, um, as you can see, I only have 99,000 uh, dust. So I am saving all dust for uh, for uh, anniversary for the new light hero. Um, just to make sure I have enough dust to get a max stone when that comes out. Uh, so yeah, so that, I'm not re-rolling anything on my alt right now. I want to save up all my dust so I'm prepared for anniversary. Uh, but let's go ahead and lock in our heroes. So it looks like we got all 20 of our potions for the damage increase. Uh, we got six demon potions. Is heal effect better than HP? Um, from what I know, yes it is, from what I've heard. Um, I use uh, HP heal effect on uh, my mains Ada when I run Aspen Dungeon. Oh, I'm getting the hiccups right now. So we might have to go through here and... Or maybe we'll just uh, send to Ada for this. I'm pretty sure Ada's fine on that. Oh, wait. He's got uh, no no energy. So what I'm going to do is send in Aspen and we're going to get full energy on our boy Aspen here. All right, so we got a horse. Uh, we're going to do a full watch through. Uh, we're not going to skip uh, any of the nodes. I don't want any uh, kind of like a what the hell kind of happened there kind of thing, so we're just gonna watch everything. Why heal effect on Ada? Well, because you want HP and um, when you run attack on Ada, you open yourself up against uh, Ada's. Uh, when a when you face Ada's, they have uh, their damage by the, at the end of the round is based off of their attack. So the more attack my Ada has, the more damage that my Ada is going to receive. So that's why you run HP heal effect or HP HP in the Aspen Dungeon. Uh, good afternoon, June. How's it going? Glad you could uh, stop by the stream today. I hope um, hope everyone's uh, is able to like this stream time. I uh, every other Friday I'm actually off of work, 
So uh, I get uh, Fridays off every other Friday. So I actually want to stream at this time more often because I know it's a little bit better for the European people out there. <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m. there. Well, where are you? That's 1 a.m. right now. But yeah, I wanted to make sure I capture the EU audience because um, most of my streams are around like 9, 10 o'clock at night in the U.S., at least for Eastern time, which is really good for like the U.S. viewers. But um, for European, not so much. So I feel like this is a good compromise. It's like a little bit in the morning for some people in the United States and in the afternoon. And then uh, it's in the evening for the people in the Europe. Uh, when's my next Broken Spaces going to be on my main? Um, I actually think my monthly reset is really soon oh gran turismo with a uh, super chat you the best gdp you legit the einstein of this game showing some put some support art thank you gran turismo thank you so much it's like 4 a.m for eu when you do the night streams yeah i kind of figured it was like super early in the morning for you guys when i did that uh unimax please don't be cc'd all the time come on break free break free oh dude what is that cc Oh, man. Dude, that is horrible. Oh. Well, I think um, I'll be okay if I just use one potion here. Yeah. See here, da double ja. So unfortunately, we lost our Unimax with Torch. So hopefully, we don't run into any more Valkyries or Obrons. Um, I think Faith. I think this is a Faith Blade stage. Pull up my uh, spreadsheet real quick to verify that. Uh, at least what I need to use to build to defeat this. The AS. Uh, Aspen Raw has Faith Blade 200. Do I have to pot on this then? Okay. Um, oh, you know what? I actually know. I have Terra. I forgot. This is a Terra Wave. Very good Terra Wave. At least in the uh, 650s. Uh, okay, so Oberon. I think single Ada can deal with this. Yeah, Omar, can you uh, please cut it out? Um, don't want to time you out, man. Let's see, Sigmund. All 
All right, so this one I believe is a Faith Blade Wave, <clears throat> but I'm I might have to pop a potion. Yes, so I have to pop a potion on this one, unfortunately. Uh, GDP, how good is one Delosium with Athaqua, and is there any other good teams with Delosium without Athaqua? Um, I think if you check out some of my earlier videos when I got Delosium, I used Delosium with, uh, with Nakia, and that will kind of give you a judge because Nakia is a little bit less damage than uh, Ithaqua and their dots. So go and check out that video and you'll kind of have an idea of what Ithaqua and that uh, single Delo will do because it'll just be a little bit more damage than that. Yes, arena tickets. I need arena tickets on this account. Did I use nine star faith blade or ETH or Thakwa and Aspen? Well, the nine star faith blade's not gonna take you very far. E fours could be much, much, much stronger. Uh, please try your PvE lineup for PvP. Um, Delosium is no good in PvP in current meta. At least in endgame. In early game, he's really good. But in endgame, uh, I have not found a single team that can use Delosium and actually have a solid win rate. Not a single team. I mean, yes, you might be able to get a couple like oddball wins with the Delosium in your team, but the majority of the time, Delosium is so squishy um, that he either just dies really fast or that his damage is just so high that he pops Unbending Will at 100% HP for the enemy, and it almost does nothing because then the Delosium dies and then your team is just screwed at the end. Um, I don't know if I can do this with a single potion. I hope I can. Yeah, I'm going to try this with a single potion on the Aspen. Nope, this is rip. Oh, got to go, but good luck. Thank you, Soar. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the stream, and uh, check you again next time. Uh, this is not a good run. Losing Unimax to the Valk Oberon stage. I just... Something always bad happens to my freaking lineups man don't get cc'd i was hoping he would just purify that and not get cc'd but he did not uh, okay we'll sacrifice terra i don't think Ada, i don't i think ada might be in trouble on this oh wait nice terra Seal coming in for the clutch. Uh, who would you recommend building for a free to play? Sorry for spamming. Um, no, it's okay. Uh, for a free to play for the first hero, if you, if that if that's what you mean, uh, Delosium's a really good choice. 
Penny's a good choice. Horus is a good choice. Cthulhu is a good choice. Um, there's several out there. I'm going to do a demon potion on the Terra here. I think this is Reparino for me. All right, so we got the Ada down low. Or the Ra, I mean. What does LK mean? I don't know. What does LK mean? Lich King from World of Warcraft? Oh, I think this is a rip. Yep, maybe. Oh, that was close. <laughs> wow. Ada lives another day. Ah, oh, this is this 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 runs over though. I have no node breakers. Very unfortunate that the Unimax got CC'd for so much. Uh, pennies, I th think Ada can do this. I don't know about at penny energy though. Uh, please. Okay, she does. She's okay. Okay, okay. Live another day. Nice, nice. All right, so is that the same exact node? Yes, it is. Um, well, this is a rip. Rip Reno. All right, let's go check out uh, store here. Um, I'm hoping to get some arena tickets just like that. Need all the arena tickets on this account because I am pushing uh, Maverick this season. And it's the last, what, two and a half days left? I need all those tickets. Uh, looks like I got them all. Yep. All right, so how many reading tickets do I have now on this account? Nice, 133. Um, wow, I've they've pushed me down just a little bit already. I'm already at nine ticket cost today. Uh, do I want to push anymore today? I don't know. This is good. They're they're really pushing hard. This last couple of days. Yeah, this account's got uh, 2,350 scrolls. Um, I, I'm gonna, I think this will be fine. I think I'm gonna have like 260 by the time anniversary comes or 2,600. 
So it should be good there. Yeah, I'm already sh Yeah, I, I think that's right, Mappy. Nine is way too much. I think I need to wait for reset tonight. Um, so I am going to switch over to uh, my main account. So... Um, as your first 10 star and then feed her off later same with like uh bait bait is actually surprisingly a really good first 10 star um he he will surprisingly do pretty good for you in pvp in the early early game because he can do an insane amount of single target damage and um and in the broken spaces he's actually pretty good for a first 10 star So let's go ahead and set up uh, my account for, for my heroes. When I started, Gru was godlike as first 10 star. You couldn't kill him. Yep. Uh, Gru has had a couple stages in his uh, idol hero's career where he has just been absolutely just unkillable. I remember when E3, I think it was e when E3 first came out, Gru was just... Destroying everyone with a with a new uh, resilience heal at the end of the round. Let's see where is my? There's one antlers cane. Where is my other? Where's my upgraded antlers cane? There it is. I need to pick some gear off of some heroes. Let's pull gear off of you. And you and Belrain, because I'm not using Belrain. So we're going to go with the crit crit there, we got full red there, so that's good. Attack attack on this Delosium with a Staff of Punisher, full red. Uh, this one will go with, uh, we need another weapon real quick. And this will get the regular Antlers Cane. And I kind of want to switch this skill damage one. But once again, I need to save my gold. Not, I'm, I, not more of dust this time, it's more of gold. So our three damage heroes are set up there. Uh, this one is going to get... Once again, I need to pull gear off of other heroes. The fish face drives me crazy. I gotta love the lot. I love the look of the Lossium. I don't know what you're talking about. I can push carry to. 10 star and penny to e5. We also have 9 star pennies. Oh, wait, you're able to get a carry to 10 star when you only have a single e5 penny? That's pretty good, actually. I would assume if that's your only e5. But yeah, pushing up that carry would be pretty important if you have the copies. Uh, so we'd see, we've got Delosium, Delosium, Mithakwa, Art Watcher. Art Watcher, you need to run uh, this Demon Bell here for this setup. 
and then Sigmund, we're going to run naked. Um, so I'm I'm actually going to uh, make a recording video so I can make this into a video for later today. Um, so bear with me on that while I kind of like set up and explain my gear real quick. Hello guys, uh, before we get started, I would appreciate if you guys uh, hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, today we got the Faith Blade uh, Flame Shrine. Uh, so real quickly, I'm going to go with over my hero's gearing setup real quick. Uh, for the first Delosium, we got an Antler's Cane with skill damage attack attack, 1-3 uh, with full red enables. Uh, same with the second Delosium, uh, but this time we'll go with a Staff Punisher and Attack Attack Stone on this one. Uh, the Athakwa is going to run a 1-3 setup with a Glittery Antler's Cane, uh, Crit Crit Damage, uh, same as usual, uh, full red. And then the third Delosium is going to go uh, damage this time before I went tanky. I'm going to go a little more damage this time and go with a 1-3 setup with a Staff Punisher on this one. Uh, enables don't matter because he's 10 star and then our heart watcher has a 2-2 setup with speed hp and a demon bell uh the re real quickly i'm going to explain why i run demon bell on this team is because i'm getting a lot of questions uh of why uh, the minus one and minus two are popping up when i am fighting bosses in the flame shrine uh this is because uh in heart watcher is active she reduces target's attack by 25%. And that's why I want to run the demon bell on her. So she puts out an active in the first round. And then all three of my Delosiums will replicate that damage or that, that attack reduction over to the other bosses. And we will get uh, in round two to three, we will get minus one to minus two damage. Uh, so that is why that is happening. And that is also why I run demon bell on Heart Watcher. So let's go ahead and go into the Flame Shrine boss. As you can see, we got uh, Faith Blade here. And um, Order of Heroes does not matter against Faith Blade because he attacks random heroes, or not random heroes, he targets uh, low HP heroes. So the order does not really matter. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Maybe I can't run the triple Delosium, or at least the 10 star Delosium on that one. I might have to uh, go a tanky setup on the one Delosium so he doesn't just get absolutely annihilated. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with the uh, fearless armor or something on the 10 star Delosium. He just got absolutely murdered in the first round. And that, that that's the one issue with this team is in the first round, you're going to have no healer to offset any damage that you take. Um, so you got to make sure that you have some sort of survivability in the first round, first one to two rounds. But we still came out with uh, 39 billion damage. Um, I'm sure we can go much, much higher with this team. I'm going to change the gear setup real quick on the 10 star Delosium. So now I'm just, I'm just going to run him a uh, full mage with uh, Kina Demons. Uh, it's going to give him some... Uh, Damage reduction, so hopefully he just doesn't get annihilated in the first one or two rounds. So hopefully he stays alive here. Yes, okay. Now that he stayed alive, uh, the team is probably going to survive the rest of the time. Uh, the Sigmund probably will stay alive.
So we got a Phoenix buff coming out here in round six, and it went on three of our four damage dealers, so that's good news, uh, especially the Athakwa. Uh, we got an active ability coming out of Athakwa for round eight. Let's see what that is, 240 mil. That seems a little low for uh, a round eight active. Uh, she did not get her uh, Phoenix buff this round. Three hundred mil on that active. And so she got her Phoenix buff there. All right, so we're probably gonna get one more round of actives and then it's gonna be over. Six hundred and sixty two million right there on the last active by Athakwa. And then we got a wasted, uh, essentially wasted Phoenix buff right there. Uh, so this one was actually lower. Um, that's probably because the Sigmund stayed alive. Uh, we do want the Sigmund to die for our Phoenix buffs to be a little bit more consistent on our uh, damage dealers. So let's see, he has 174k. And he has 112. So he actually has lower. So let's make sure, let's bump him up. One, well, that's 1.3. No, that's, that's 100,000. So he is higher, so he shouldn't be getting targeted. I just hope he, uh, his Faith Blades kill that Sigmund. I was, I was off by a factor of 10 by thinking the Delosium was lower in HP. I need that, oh, I need them to hit that Sigmund. The reason why I don't care that uh, Sigmund dies in the early round is because he's going to get his uh, burn buff and or his burn dot and his armor reduction out onto the heroes in the first round. And the I don't once he does that I don't care he can die because I have three Delosiums and they can just replicate the armor reduce and the dot to the other heroes. So eventually I will be having a 100% armor reduction on my hero, or on the bosses. So we got an active coming from Athakwa here, essentially 600 million right there. Let's, pay, let's see where the Phoenix buff goes. Uh, Athakwa does get the Phoenix buff. So we got a 1.046 billion hit by Athakwa right there. And this last uh, Phoenix buff really doesn't matter here. And let's see what the damage is. Hopefully over 40. Yes, over 42. Um, I am going to screenshot that just because that is the highest I've ever done in Faith Blade. So the so it looks like the the, the two Delosiums with uh, Staff of Punishers are doing relatively close to the same amount of damage. Uh, the one with the Antlers Cane looked like he pulled ahead. For sure, Antler's Cane is definitely better on Delosium. Um, I just don't have any more. I only have Staff of Punishers, which I think would be the second best artifact for him. Because in this t Oh, Fate Sigmund, you came so close to dying. Die here. Please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that's real good. Uh, all four of my damage dealers got their uh, Phoenix buff. But yeah, so Delosium, his artifact choices are basically uh, Antler's Cane, uh, Anti-Class, or Staff of Punisher. Um, once you run this team, 
you don't want to run Kiss of Ghost because it's almost pointless because your Sigmund is going to be reducing the armor and those are gonna, that's going to get replicated by the Dossiums. Looks like our damage dealer, I think this will be a lot better than 42 billion just because we got the Sigmund to die this time. Right, so we're going to have an active in the 14th round coming up here. No, I don't think we're going to have 60 billion on this run. I think this one might be in the 45, upper 40s. Okay, 44 bill. Um, so let's screenshot that. That is the highest I've ever done on Faith Blade. I was hoping to get over 50 billion, but I mean, what can you say? I would say over 40 billion is pretty damn good on a Faith Blade boss. Um, Thakwa on this attempt did 9.2 billion or 9.26. And then the skin to Delosium once again with the Antlers Cane at 14 billion. And then our Staff of Punisher Delas at a 11.9 and 8.7. And I think that's our last attempt with a total of 161 billion in the first day. So looking pretty good on the Faith Blade uh, Delosium army right there. Um, I mean, that's, that's a record for me. I have never done anything higher than that. Um, so I'll check you guys tomorrow in my next Flameshine video. Uh, see you then. All right, guys, so um, tomorrow I think I am going to make a video with this same team, but instead of a Thakwa as my dot dealer, I am going to run a Nakia so that people that have Nakia copies, they can make a judgment if they want to build a Delosium army with a Nakia as their dot dealer. Um, I want to get that information out there because I know a lot of people are sitting on Nakia copies and they have a, they have like one or two nine star Delosiums already. I'm getting questions all the time if Nakia is good with this team. So I just want to make a video and kind of just put that information out there. Um, so this is actually going to be the end of my stream today. Um, I appreciate you guys checking in today and watching me. Um, I probably won't be streaming again until my mains flame shrine, not my mains, uh, flame shrine, my mains Aspen dungeon opens up which would be on Sunday, I think. Um, my Broken Spaces opens up, uh, let's see, I think today. Okay, yeah, so my Broken Spaces opens up in seven hours. So I will be making a video on a Broken Spaces clear. Um, I think we might be able to get sub 30, maybe, well, actually, no, we might be able to get sub 25, sub 20 attempts uh, with this Delosium army. So um, I'm going to make that video, and I hope you guys check it out, and uh, I'll see you guys later.